Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be part two of the huge Dollar Tree haul. So, yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I went a little crazy, but honestly, this is the haul that I was talking to you about in a previous video that I was separating into different categories and I did the food one. So then I went back to the Dollar Tree and I got a couple more things, but this one I'm trying to complete and just get it done with because it's a lot of stuff to share. So I just went and got these, um, they had these plant versus zombies. Now I thought that the daisy was just so adorable, I could not resist. But of course, you know, I didn't want to get a whole bunch of them and not know which one I was getting because I really was interested just in the daisy. And then if you look at the packaging, it has a little hole right there. So that is how I managed to look inside and figure out which one it was. And you can really tell just from that, you can tell which one it is because you just push it there. And then if you see if it's orange, you know, it's that one. If it's purple, it's that one. If it's green, it's that one. So I was able to get two daisies. I really wanted the daisies, but I really just wanted the daisies because I just thought they were so cute. And I really don't know anything about these plants versus zombies other than the stuff that I've seen at the Dollar Tree. So I figured I need to do my research and find it out. And it turns out that it's like a, a little series of like cartoons or something. So I just thought it was cute. So I got two of those. And then I found these Ma, Ma, Mood Podge. Mood Podge. I have no idea how to use this whatsoever, but I am very interested in researching it and finding out how it works. And I think it is for a little project that I want to do. So I figured, let me try it. It's just $1 and let me try it and see if it works. Um, made in USA and one is matte and the other one is a gloss luster. So I figured, let me give it a try and see how it is because I wanted to do a little project with my stickers and I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work out because I'm not a huge DIY person, but I do have noticed that I had to throw out some stickers because they go bad if you don't use them. So I wanted to find a way to save them and like preserve them and do something. So I'm kind of figuring that out to see how that would work. So I got that. These two I got in Florida and these ones are Baker's 48% cacao. And it looks, it looked good. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in the supermarket and it certainly was not a dollar. So that is the reason that I got it. And the cool thing is that it says four baker's pieces, it equals one ounce of chocolate. So if a recipe says two ounces, then I know how much it was. There was only two of them, so I got the two of them. Um, and I really, I was impressed that it says, you know, the, the value of it and it looked really good. So I figured I'm gonna give these a try and then let you know how it turns out. I got that. Then I got a pastry brush. I figured, you know, this, I need, I use a lot of pastry brushes and this one's a paintbrush. And I decided to just go ahead and just wash it off and use it as a pastry brush because pastry brushes are quite expensive. And I'm not about to spend $5 on a pastry brush. So I got this one for a dollar at the Dollar Tree to give it a try. Then I got this in lavender vanilla scent, and this is a toilet bowl deodorant, sort of. <laughs> and I don't know if you've heard of the brand called Poopery and Wake Up and Smell the Roses or something. This, I'm trying to figure out if it's comparable just because the other brands are very, very expensive. So I wanted to give it a try. If anybody has tried this product and the other products that I'm talking about, let me know in the comments and let me know if it's just as good because I only got, I think one, the bottle is not full. I can see it from here, but it is sealed. I got one of these and I believe I got the other one I have right here. I believe I got the other one that is a different smell. It's like a lemon, like a lemon smell. 
we haven't gotten to that yet, but I just wanted to get rid of that bag. So let's see. If anybody knows, do let me know about that. And I have a little sip. And then last but not least, I got this toy because it seemed fun. I saw this video on YouTube where Chris Pratt was playing with Ellen DeGeneres, this game. So I figured I'll try it. I'll try it with my husband and hopefully he'll be game and he'll want to play. If anybody has played this game and it's funny, please let me know. It's called Say It, Don't Spray It. So it's sort of like a thing that you put in your mouth and you have to talk while with that. So I don't know. It just seemed fun. It just seemed fun and I just wanted to try it. Um, let's dive in into beauty product, products that I found. I got, I got this bag. I really like it. I really like Dollar Tree bags. Oh, I got this binder too. So this is just one little binder that I got to separate some stickers that I wanted to do. So <laughs> that's that. Boop. Okay. So as far as beauty products, um, I found some Kleenex. Um, I thought it was so cute because it says, you know, may the force be with you and R2D2, like one of my favorites. So I got those. Then I saw these Revlon nail files. I'm trying to grow my nails, so, you know, this will come in handy pretty soon. Hopefully, you know, I'll grow them pretty soon. Um, so that's that. Then I saw these um, bath soak salts, and this one is watermelon mint. I figured I could use it also. Wow, it smells really good. I could use it also for like my feet. I could soak my feet. So I figured I'll give these a try. Bolero. It's a brand that really keeps giving us stuff that's like really cool. And I absolutely love watermelon. So the fact that this is watermelon mint, I thought that's got to be a winner. This one's our facial wipes. Paraben free. Um, I haven't opened it. I still have some wipes that I'm using. So I'm not going to open it. But if it smells anything like the like the salts thing, I might have to come back for more. Then I got these completely, completely unnecessary thingies. I know, but I just love it. So I couldn't help myself. So I got those. Um, I got a beauty blender. These ones actually work pretty well. I gotta say, pretty well. You know, for one dollar, you can't go wrong, and they actually work pretty well. Is it better than the original blender? No, I'm not claiming that it is. I would not say that, but the fact that it does the job almost as good, it, it's fine with me. <laughs> you know, this one is another of the salt thingies I got too because I just figured that that was a pretty good deal. And surprisingly, I found some face masks. So I got some face masks here, the coconut and sea oil from Bolero, and then we have a French lavender and citrus. Then we got a face charcoal one with collagen. And then we have two of the Yes to Tomatoes, clear skin. So this one is a do-it-yourself powder to clay mask, that one you have to do yourself. And then we have a sleeping mask. So that's also very good because, you know, definitely more than a dollar anywhere else. So that's really exciting. Gotta be on the lookout for those. Um, then I wanted to get one of these um, foot scrubbers because I had gotten some and then I ended up returning them because I guess I didn't look through the quality in detail. And I was like, no, this is, this is, not, this is not good. So then I went ahead and got this one that looks a lot a lot better then I found a fan because it's the summer and we're gonna probably need it so in New York is it's as hot as hell um this one says blessed which I am so anyone that's alive should count their blessings so that's good and then I got some freaking spray I always wanted to try the spray and I just never have never tried it and it just seems like crazy to try it and you know 
in London, British girls have been like doing this sort of coloring their hair for years and years and years. And this is kind of like a trend now. But in Europe, people have been doing it for years and years and years. So that's that. Then we have a nail polish gel. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. It reminds me almost of, you know, the um, Ciate um, Jessica Rabbit collection red. That's, that's what you're thinking. That's what I'm thinking that it looks like. So it's pretty cool. So that is all for the beauty items. Now let's move on to cleaning because we got to clean, right? And some other stuff. <laughs> I found this quick whisk. And I was intrigued by it. I mean, anytime I see a kind of like cool gadget, I do have to check it out. Just because I thought it was really neat, you know, like the quality looked good. And I'm like, I was I was kind of curious about it. So the way that it works is that you just, you tap it and it'll turn. And I just thought that was so cool. So I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a try. It just seemed really interesting for some reason. So yeah, so I got one of those. They had a bunch of them, actually. They had a bunch of them, but it's definitely good quality. I mean, I don't even know what that's doing there for one dollar. It's definitely, definitely worth more than that. So I got one of those just in case. I mean, I do have a lot of other wits, but I don't have this one. And sometimes you want different options. Um, puffs gotta have pups that pollen is literally killing me had to take my allegra and claritin and all that it's kind of dissipating right now it's not as bad but it was very very bad then we got this is the one i was talking about the toilet spray and the you know spray before you sit and this one is the lemon so it's like a lemon citrusy so now i have that one and the other one so yeah i just thought it was cool you know because the other the other brand is so so much expensive and you know just figured give it a try then we have some sponges which we always need i got a brillo one and this one is supposed to you know erase and wipe sort of comparable to the mr clean so hopefully it will work and then we have some brillo basics which i thought you know it's pretty good you know Pretty good, non-stick sponges. Jurgens, you know, hand soap, which pretty good. I really like it as well. And then we got some Ziploc bags. These ones are really good for measuring calories and counting, you know, ounces because this one you can measure. It has this, you know, half a cup, one cup. So I really, really, really love these. And I got some Barkeeper's Friend. Now, Barkeeper's Friend is the best stainless steel cleaner. It also cleans, you know, porcelain, ceramic, aluminum, chrome, copper, everything. It's just, it literally cleans everything. And only $1. It usually, you can find it like a bigger size for maybe $4. But this is like a fraction of the price. It is a smaller packaging. But if, even if you get two of these, would, would it would equal the bigger one for $2 rather than four at Bed Bath & Beyond. So could not pass it up. I thought it's good to have just in case. And I'm also trying out this Brillo brush. <laughs> and this one, I guess, is going to be for the shower. I felt like I needed, you know, to really dig in and, and clean the shower a little better. So I needed a little brush because my machine died. I had a little machine that I could actually clean stuff with and I could not find a charger. I might have thrown it out, so I'm gonna have to go manual. And last but not least, a bunch of things that I probably could have done without, but I just thought, what the hell? So I got, I just, I could not pass this, I could not pass this up. Look at these Frenchy songs. I mean, oh my God, a Frenchy. So I just thought, you know, two for one dollar, that's pretty good. You know, you got polka dots and the Frenchie. So I could not help myself. 
I also got this Frenchie puzzle, which I just thought it was so freaking cute. So I could not pass it up. It's all about these pineapples now. You see pineapples everywhere. It's like pineapples, pineapples, pineapples. So these ones are little lanterns. So you turn them on, you turn them on, and they light up different colors. So it's just really cute. And I just got three of them because I just didn't want to get one of them. It's like, what are you going to do with one of them? They need to be together like a, a trio, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I got those three. And um, I thought that these ones were pretty cute. I have one of those um, Insta cameras and I wanted to have my little pictures somewhere. And when I saw this little butterfly book, I thought, ooh, this could work. Uh, and put them here a couple of pages I got two just in case I needed you know they didn't all fit into one so I got two of them and I just thought it was really good pretty good quality for one dollar then we have some plates and sometimes you know I don't want to do dishes then I just want paper plates and these ones were really cute a little pricey because it's only 14 plates and this one is, yeah, 14 as well. But I just love the design. And it's like, I just thought it was so pretty. And I just like all shapes and sizes. So I just got those ones. And it is the summer, so I got some bandanas. I figured that maybe I could paint them. Because they're black and white. So I could probably paint them with like permanent marker. It's like a little project that I'm going to work on. Let's see if it works out. So... That's it. See, see, that's it. Yep. That's it, you guys. That is the haul I finally shared. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.